What's up YouTube? It's Rahul. We're back with another video. I'm sorry I took Sunday off. I think from here on out our regular upload schedule is going to be Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So you can expect a TCG video on one of those days. It'll be a meta report, a deck profile, maybe a pack opening. I'm probably going to stray away from those if I can. If you want to enjoy content like that, please be sure to subscribe, like, all of the above. Um, for this week though, I will try to get five videos out this week, Monday through Friday, maybe a Saturday and Sunday, because Battle Styles is new, and I want to be able to push out the content that I want to, and get the channel back on the road. So without further ado, today let's jump into one of the hyped, talked about decks, Urshifu VMAX, Rapid Strike, let's get into it. So here it is, here's the deck. Um, now... Most You've probably already seen a couple of lists. The deck is one of the most hyped decks, by far the most talked about decks. It has Gale Thrust, which if you remember, Golosopod GX back in the day. Uh, if this Pokemon moved from your bench to the active, 30 plus 120, which is a lot of damage for one fighting energy. And this guy is really beefy, so he just doesn't go down. G-Max Rapid Flow says discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. 120 to 2 of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which I know doesn't seem crazy good. But the fact that we have our Rapid Strike Energy, which acts as two energy at once, is really good, and we have searchable mechanics. So let's go through the list and the cards that I am choosing to play. We have one Crobat for extra draw through the deck. I don't want to play Dedenes and stuff like that because I think they clog up the bench, and you already have a pretty loaded bench as we're going. One Zigzagoon because I like to have the pings and additional damage, especially if we're sniping bench stuff. I want to have that be an available option to us. We have a Phalanx. Uh, I'm currently playing one as a Phalanx or an Empoleon slot. I don't know what this is going to be right now. But I want to have a one of tech or Pokemon that is not part of our big line. So I can have something to clean up or attack with. Maybe just for a Rapid Strike energy. And right now Failing seems like the best option um, to clean up with. Because we are already going to have a lot of Rapid Strike Pokemon in play. So he can come in and clean up pretty easily. What he does is Rapid Strike Squad. This attack does 20 damage for each of your Rapid Strike Pokemon in play. So you get the squad up and you start smacking. And then we have the baby Urshifus. It has Strafe for one. We're playing a 4-3 line of the Urshifu VMAX line. Um, I was experimenting with a 3-3 line, but getting one down early is really important. The VMAX is not as important, um, because you only need really two in a game, um, if that. But the baby is really important, because there are decks that can try to one-shot you, turn two with a boss, stuff like that. Um, especially with teeny VMAX decks, etc. We need to play a copy of Drachi GX with Psychic Zone, so we don't take weakness, um, from Mewtwo, Dragapult, all these decks, because you don't apply Psychic Zone when Pokemon take damage from attacks. We play a Bench Barrier Mew of our own because I don't want to be getting smacked around in the mirror. Um, besides that, there isn't that many like decks that hit the bench, but in the mirror match, if they can, the first person to kind of start sniping the other person's bench um, and stop standing up two guys at once has the potential to take out your Octillery, which is your main engine in our list. And yeah, so I don't want that to happen. So we're not letting that happen. We're playing a 2-2 Cramorant, or not Cramorant, <laughs> Octillery line. I don't want to talk about anything. Grammar doesn't do anything, but look at the art. It's just actually very pretty. And then we have Octo Daddy. Um, Octillery says, Rapid Strike Search. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Rapid Strike card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one Rapid Strike Search ability each turn. That means not you can't use two Octillery's if you have them in play, so you only ever want one Octillery in play, but they're able to just get a Rapid Strike Search card, so either the baby, the big boy, the energy, the phalanx, like all these pieces insane i really like that we have two escape rope and three switch as well as two tower of waters which lets us our rapid strike pokemon be two retreat less so we're ev effectively giving ourselves a bunch of outs to just kind of keep pivoting in to the gale thrust and healing and attacking and healing and attacking we have four scoop up nets with the zigzagoon um and the phalanx i also was thinking about this phalanx or this mew being a mewtwo slot so we could reuse some of the supporters with the scoop up net and guarantee it for the next turn um, we have three evolution incense because I do want to get the big boys out and the artillery as quickly as possible. Once artillery is online, we can kind of rest easy and go from there. We have four quick balls to be able to draw cards and two reset stamps to come back into the game in the later part of the game. We have two bosses orders because we are going to be most of the time attacking what's in the active and sometimes we're going to be able to get the snipe off, but this is just for the annoying things or cleaning up the game. Now we're playing two copies of Cheryl. I really like Cheryl in this deck because... With 330 HP and the strong energies, we don't really die ever in one shot. So being able to completely negate all the effort your opponent put in one turn is really, really, really strong in my opinion. And it only heals and discards from Pokemon that have damage on it that are evolutions. So that doesn't include under Shifu VMAX that already has an energy on it. 
Karina's Focus, we're playing three of, draw cards into you have six in your hand. It's Bianca, if you remember from back in the day, um, or Lily, I guess, um, without the Lily's great effect. But I think Karina's Focus is a really pivotal part of this. the way we're building this deck, is because we have the Octillery Engine, so we can just fetch ourselves a supporter after going low on a hand. We have three Marnie to also disrupt our opponent as we're going. Full research, because we do want to dig through our deck super early. One copy of Air Balloon, in addition to all the other switching cards we already have. We have a ton of switching outs, basically. We have one Telescopic Sight to give ourselves 30 more damage, in case we need to make a cheeky play somewhere where someone's not playing a Mew. And we have the 4-4 split of Rapid Strike Energy and Strong Energy, which gives us 20 less. So now, let's jump into some gameplay, shall we? Let me make sure I pick the right deck. I have a lot of decks selected. All these decks you guys see here also, uh, I'm not cutting this out or anything. All these decks you guys see here, I want to make a video on, and I will, I do feature a lot of them on my stream, twitch.tv slash the flea, T-H-E-F-L-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. Come by, I'm usually streaming around 11 p.m., maybe 10.30 p.m. Eastern, um, because I got shit to do during the day. So we're here, we're vibing, and I hope you guys... Um, yeah, enjoy this video. So we're already, we're already off to a pretty bad start. Not great. And our opponent won the flip and let us go first, so it's very interesting. If we top take a quick ball, the hand becomes really good. But if we don't top take a quick ball, the hand does not become very good. Um, yeah, this hand is just not good. Um, oh, that's not great. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just pass because i can't do anything with this hand i don't even want to attach the strong energy in case we top take a quick fall the following turn um we are up against pikaram which is a incredibly advantageous matchup so hopefully we'll see how this plays out now pikaram does play copies of mu and Mewtwo gx tag team so there's a potential chance that they can get that bad boy rolling before we get our drachi gx going and make a play happen there this chaotic swell is definitely going to be annoying for our retreat options but we do play the heavy copies of escape rope and switch and Scoop. We literally have a bunch of cards, so we're okay. Um, quick ball. Getting with the dead, eh? Okay. So ideally, again, quick ball is our best top deck. I wouldn't mind a Marnie. I don't want to sick more all of this away. I wouldn't just mind top taking a baby bear. Because um, I can just go baby bear. Throw the strong energy on there. Throw the telescopic skite on there. And I can go ahead and do what we need to do next. So a stamp, a boss, and a quick ball. Our opponent does not deem it necessary to stamp us. I wonder why but yeah let me know how the audio is guys i did fix a lot of things with the audio from the last last two videos because i heard there were some complaints um my camera is a little bit better my lighting is a little bit better and hopefully i can continue to improve quality of how i do things for you guys um, i also realized now about eight minutes into the video that i forgot to start music um so we're gonna just quietly without saying anything transition into our lo-fi hip-hop playlist that i usually listen to when i'm reading manga i like looked over and i was like why does desktop audio not pick anything up anyway okay so our opponent attached here and didn't even put it on the bolt hunt um i guess he doesn't know what i'm playing because i didn't play any cards from my hand so i didn't give him any indication of what's going on he can just pop the type of cocoa and do the one here um I mean, even with Pikram getting this good of a start, I think they're still at a very big disadvantage because one Gale Thrust does knock out anything. A Marnie? Cool. So, <laughs> whatever. I, I don't understand people sometimes. I don't think he should have done that ever. He already has everything he needs. Uh, there's the Baby Bear. That's really all we were looking for. We have Baby Bear already. Um, I don't care if this Crobat dies. This Crobat can go down swinging for all I care. We already have all six of our prizes on the board. Um, see, now he makes this play, but he's just given me a free hand refresh, which I don't understand why our opponent would do something like that. If he wanted to do that, he could have stamped before everything, but I don't know. Like, maybe I'm holding on to something insane. I didn't want to play it on turn one, but I don't think that's ever a case where, like, I don't want to play any of the cards in my hand on turn one. We'll go ahead and Marnie. Um, so our nightmare scenario is he brings this up and hits it with a boss. Or not with a boss, but he just hits it, um, which I don't really care about. But we'll just tower waters here. And we'll pass. I do the Karina's Focus for next turn, and we are asking for a lot um, off the top. But with our one Crobat in play, too, that's a little bit a little bit concerning. Um, definitely not a great display of how I want the deck to be showing on game one. I did play a couple games on ladder already, and it was pretty much dumpstering everything. So don't take this as a, your eternal sample size, I guess. Um, also, I, I, I have noticed definitely with like the analytics and stuff like that, people are not staying through for gameplay a lot of the time so let me know if you guys do want gameplay all right he gets the pretty much perfectly what he wants here if i top deck big bear 
Um, I can just Cheryl and instantly punish him. I think. I think that's literally what I do. I think I just like literally Big Bear Cheryl punish or. Okay. Let's create this. I should have scoop up noted that for one more. Mm. This is not ideal, obviously, right? This is not ideal, obviously. But we're going to go ahead and just try to do something. Because our hand is pretty bad. So we'll just swing. 80 damage. Failings is also insane in this matchup, but obviously our board is kind of pathetic. Um, all things considered. So we'll see how this game shakes up. Big Charm, that doesn't really change anything math-wise, I don't think. Um, so that morning ended up actually hurting me pretty pretty badly. So we'll give him this Crowbat. We'll see what we can get off the top. There we go. Nice. So I'm going to Rope, just because I think I want to just go in for the All-In Believe. Because I need, I need to take a knockout this turn. Or I'd like to take a knockout this turn. If I can. If, if I can't, then whatever. Okay, nice. We get the Bear. We get this guy, we get this energy, and we could go ahead and pitch the Karinas for this guy. Oh, hello. Can we restart tonight? Thank you. <clears throat> I forgot that's how that interaction worked, but it's okay. That's on me. Either way, I think this is fine because now I can just Cheryl next turn if I need to. And we can play the game. If not, I can just research and look for the uh, the GMAX Rapid Flow. Crushing Hammer is still in this format. Interesting. I don't know why you'd want to be playing Crushing Hammer. It's definitely an interesting card choice. I don't know if Crushing Hammer is like necessarily the best tech card choice in, in, in the world. Switch here. Crobat, six. One, two, three, four. What's the max damage he can do this turn? He can go five. And so he can't one-shot me, though. So the funniest thing would be if I top deck Octo, probably. If I top deck Octo, um, he's just going to tag bolt me, I think, here. I don't see a reason why you don't tag bolt me here, right? And also, I think I throw up uh, Remoraid at this point, because if I can throw up Remoraid... Um, now he just wins on the Crobat, right? So that's what he's looking at doing. He's looking at winning off the Crobat using Bolt Hunt here. So I throw up the Remoraid because I can just um, scoop up Net if I need to. So research. Let's see if we can come back into this game. No energy. Um, this is still fine, though. We'll do this to start. We get our last Rapid Strike energy in the deck. A little bit dicey. Two in the discard, so we have one left. Okay. Scoop up net. Boom. We're going to get one more baby. Just to potentially have that prep option for a following turn. So we can pivot between the two, realistically. Because I don't want to have to find a bunch of cards that are like Russian Roulette here. Evo Incense, nice. That's another VMAX. And Stamp. Cool. Okay. So if we can survive one more, I think this hand is really good. Um, we can also Stamp, grab a Karina's Focus that's in deck. I think we should have one more Karina's Focus. I didn't actually check. Um, so we'll see if it's in the deck. If it's not, then we're in a little bit of it, trouble. But otherwise, this is super okay. Also... Um, in an ideal world, uh, we can... Okay, that is a little bit of an issue, but he already tag-switched, so... So, Telescopic Sight is pretty good here. Telescopic Sight will win us the game. If we can find it. Yeah, so Telescopic Sight wins us the game. If he doesn't pitch our energies... Um, besides that, we just go look, we just go draw GX hunting and try to set up the board. But draw GX also being on the board means that a boss's orders can lose us the game because Tandem Shock can be the one shot that he needs. 
But he doesn't have a way to power it up unless he goes into Bolt Hunt this turn. Which I don't see a reason why he wouldn't go into Bolt Hunt. Because I'm only threatening game. Well, I mean, if he does go into Bolt Hunt, he loses actually. Because I can just G-Max Rapid Flow, knock, knock, and end the game. Because it will hit weakness on the active. Only on the bench doesn't apply for weakness. So, a very smart decision on his part for not doing that, actually. He's obviously looking for either a Marnie or a Stamp or a Crushing Hammer. More than likely, it's the Crushing Hammer that he wants to find. He has probably three left in the deck. Um... So. Marnie, okay. Good start on his part. He knows I had the Octillery in my hand. So Marnie is obviously, like, coming. Um, okay. We have the Evo Intense. Okay, this hammer, we want it to be Tails. Perfect. We want this hammer to be Tails. Perfect. Now he can't go into the Bolt Hunt, which is really all we care about here. If he can't go into the Bolt Hunt, he can't one-shot us next turn. Not entirely sure if that was correct, but we did win. We did get a pack. We got a pack of Cosmic Eclipse. Um, I don't know why my opponent did that. I think he should have just um, not made that play and made me work for it over two turns. Um, at the very least, because even if I do snipe bench, I'm not one-shotting the Bolt Hunt. So the game is not over yet. Um, the game is not over yet by any means, so, all right, we'll do one more game, and then we'll see where the day takes us, guys. His hand's immaculate. I cannot complain. His hand's immaculate. We already have a switching out. We already have our Shifu. Uh, we're up against ADP Zashin, probably, if I saw E-Switch there. Yeah. I saw E-Switch, Double Saucer, and Metal, so it's eight, probably ADP. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I don't care about this stamp. We're gonna just grab another baby. We'll just check what's in the deck. We're gonna grab the baby. No pass. See here, um, ADP is a fine matchup because also we can hit it with the with first first new first impression. And then use Zigzagoon to ping it, and then we can also snipe it off the bench. An early research that definitely hurts. He needs the sword in this matchup. Um, actually, he doesn't. I guess you don't really need the sword. Because even, unless you have Leon, Ziggy, you can't one-shot ever. And I play strong, so that doesn't even matter. Or stone. But, a metal energy and a pass, probably. Nice. So we're going to take full advantage of this. We're going to take full advantage of this. Um, so we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna just G-Max Rapid Flow, or G-Max, yeah, yeah G-Max Rapid Flow, we're gonna Marnie and G-Max Rapid Flow, just because we're gonna get the extra damage onto the board, which is really all I care about, also, because there's no reason not to make this play, um, we're gonna grab the stadium for next turn, he, I'm just gonna let him know I have it, um, we're gonna do this. Because discarding energy doesn't really matter here, and I'd like to just wipe the active and take the two prizes for free that he's giving us. Which now, I potentially threaten a knockout with first impression next turn. So he can go into uh, Altered Creation GX, and at that moment, I just move into Gale Thrust and take the knockout. And so no matter what he does on the bench, it doesn't actually matter, because I've already capitalized on what's what we're doing here. So he's trying to set up a fresh one. But I do have the boss's orders, I do have the stadium in hand. Um... That's one of the best things about Octillery, where I can start setting up these hands, these situations that are like semi-checkmate already. Like, this is turn two. I have two 330 HP beaters on the board. Okay, that's super annoying. <laughs> but we have Octillery. We can get any uh, one of the Rabbit Strike cards we want. Mawile, I mean, just fucking slam my Jirachi GX, why don't you, dog? Um, but that doesn't change the math of the game, because he either goes 3-2-2, two, two, or he goes 4-2. 
I think the 4-2 is the more likely route, but I do play Cheryl, so we're going to dig aggressively for Cheryl. Reset Stamp. Okay. That's actually beneficial for us. So Rope. Rope Boss. Rope Boss Rapid Strike Energy. That's good with me. If I find a switch, that's better to just schmack, but... Rope. We'll see what he gives us first. He does play Stamp, which is interesting, so... Or we have Karina's Focus, I think. I'm just going to Karina's Focus this turn, I think. Scoop up at this boy. Scoop up at this boy. Ping on the back end. Is it logical to get there? Two more pings? So two more scoop up nets and I get there? Yeah, let's do that. Get thrust. Nice, okay. So now we're setting up for the G Max Rapid Flow next turn. Um, also, boss G Max Rapid Flow does win us the game. We're just putting our pings here in case we can set it up on two things. Um, obviously, he's probably gonna pivot into the Zacian. He hasn't even GX yet. So I don't see a foreseeable future where he can win this game without without GXing this turn. And now that we've hit both the ADPs, um, he's in a little bit of trouble. I don't understand if he had the balloon and everything already in hand, why he didn't just throw up the Zacian. Because now letting your ADP take a hit means that when you alter creation, you've already lost this game. Um, maybe you would have had a chance the other way around because you could have brought up the um, Drachi GX or something like that. But in this situation, you have no chance now. So I don't have the boss, obviously, but I have another scoop up net, and we're going to go ahead and do this. We'll do this. Pick up our boy. Let's go look through our deck. We're going to thin. This also helps us thin a card. So we're going to grab our rapid strike energy. We're committing. We're committing. And we're going to go. Come on. Can we get that scoop up net? I didn't even look in the deck if we have the scoop up net. Okay. Evo Intense. Let's go check if we have the scoop of that, actually. Do we do? Okay. Stamp. We're going to give you more cards here, buddy. I'm just going to thin and see if I can find um, a way to Crobat here. Crobat for four. I mean, that also wins us the game. Telescopic Sight. Boom. Six prizes. One turn. Two ADPs dead. That's literally the card that terrorized this entire format. We took six prizes in one turn with Urshifu VMAX Rapid Flow. Now, I know game one wasn't the cleanest in the world, but this game, you guys can see the power of how strong Urshifu VMAX is when it sets up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, a follow, a subscribe, all the above, whatever. Leave in the comments below what you want to see next. There's all these decks you saw over there. Come to my Twitch, check it out. Come to my TikTok, check it out. And until next time, enjoy this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're going to do all week videos this week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starting next week onwards. We're going to be back on the YouTube grind. Thank you guys for watching. I do really appreciate everyone that comes by. So thank you for the love. I'm glad to be back. It's your boy Rahul. And until next time, peace.